Hi, YouTube, Kiwi Gav here, and uh, finally I've put a video up. Uh, it's been a while, um, haven't been motivated to really do anything, um, so no modelling's been done either. Um, that's due to a couple of little things, um, my parents' health and looking after them, putting them into a home, which is a bit unfortunate, and losing a bit of money through a bad choice of... Uh, buying some gravity colour paints, which I got stung. Um, which you may or may not have heard of the problems I've been having. Um, I'm still trying to get my money back, but I don't ho hold home much hope, really. Um, I left it a bit too late, and uh, yeah, it's been over 12 months since I ordered it, so that really killed my mojo, so I haven't finished uh, my... Uh, F1 car or my uh, Repsol Honda. Um, it's mainly the Repsol Honda that I haven't finished because I was going to use the um, Gravity Colors paints for that. Um, and the F1 car, I've got uh, zero paints for that, which I did get from States. And so I will finish that at some stage, but I've just sort of really lost my mojo on vehicles and stuff at the moment, so I'll come back to it. Um, so what I've done in the last couple of months, three months, four months, whatever, is I finished off a sci-fi build that I started. It wasn't a group build, it wasn't a competition build or anything. It was just something that I really liked to do. And uh, we'll take a look at the finished product in a minute. Um, other than that, not really much. It's sort of winter here, so I generally do more my modelling in the summer. Um, it's a bit more comfortable at night to come out here. And... Uh, build away. Um, I want to say hi, just a few people, um, Paul and the live crew Friday on um, Fridays um, UK time, it's usually Saturday mornings for me to watch and uh, chat with everyone else. A um, couple of guys to check to on uh, ISM, uh, Stokesy and uh, Tom Cat, they've uh, been quite prolific in a cricket and rugby thread. Um, I'm a big rugby follower, don't play it myself anymore, but uh, I do follow the All Blacks so, and my local team, the Tasman Marcos. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to the World Cup next year for that, for those guys. Um, yeah, it's been really good. So, um, without further ado, um, let's take a look at uh, what I managed to finish off. Okay, uh, sorry for the shaky camera, I'm doing a bit of handheld here today. Um, so yeah, here he is, K2SO, um, on a little wee sort of a diorama base of sort, Vin vignette is the word maybe. Um, I tried to loosely pick a scene out of Rogue One, um, you may recognise it, but I've added a few other things like a little poster down there and a bit of bit of graffiti and stuff, just sort of, I don't know, give the whole story a bit of real world, rebellion, graffiti, you know, just sneaking up on places, a little bit of uh, scratch building and such, with just some spare bits and pieces, do some greebly bits and piping, all done from spare sprue, um, the wall itself, is a display board, paper mache, then coated in a mixture of glue paint and a fine Nelson sand, which we got on one of our beaches, a really fine sand to give a sort of a plaster feel. A dash base covered in um, sort of a sand pigment with a pigment fixer by uh, Ammo uh, Mig. So, product down there and then K2SO himself by Bandai and he has the uh, Toridium lighting kit and uh, that was a lot of fun he had to run him, run the lights from his head where his eyes are you'll see in a minute down through his leg down through these transparent joins which I've gone around the outside into the fine fine leg down the bottom at his foot and underneath to where the battery 
and switches. And for the switch, I rerouted the switch to be handy. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I would have liked to have done a remote, and I know I can do a remote now, uh, maybe next time. But for this instance, I've got a little switch just in this unit here. And uh, if we just flick them on, there's his eyes light up. I tried to get that typical K2S uh, sort of stance and pose, and I, th I think I'm been quite successful. And uh, sort of a black metallic slightly sort of use universe feel so uh hope you like and uh yeah we'll see ya okay hope you like that and uh yeah it's been quite enjoyable building that so um quite a lot of fun and uh, i do like star wars some of you may or may not know so but yeah so that sort of brings me to the point of what I'm going to do next and do try and build up my mojo and uh, get things going again. I've managed to uh, buy, buy a Star Wars kit, um, quite a sought after one. Um, I was a bit dubious about ordering this on eBay but it turned up. So I'm going to do it but I'm going to take my time on this one. I'm going to light it up, I'm going to do some research on lighting, I haven't done too much lighting, I know what you just saw before, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a biggie, and I really want to make this come out primo, and um, any advice on this one, please uh, leave comments, or leave me links to some people who have got some really good builds of this model, but uh, without further ado, this is what I'm going to do next. This is the Zvezda, uh, Russian 12700 scale Star Wars Star Destroyer. Um, it's been recently reboxed and Revell uh, selling that now. But I managed to get this out of Russia um, at a pretty good price actually. And uh, so I'm going to build that. I will do a review. I'll just show you the box now, but I will do a review uh, on the weekend. I'll have a closer look. She's all in there, as far as I know. I haven't opened the bags and um, but yeah, looking forward to it. It's all in Russian, but looking at the instructions, um, it's going to be pretty straightforward. So it's really all about lighting this thing up. And there's a few things I want to try. And uh, so next thing is ordering the lighting and uh, so on for that. Um, but if anyone's got any recommendations what to do and what not to do with this thing, uh, please let me know. And yeah, so look out for this one. Um, I'll be just taking my time, so, so, um, yeah, other than that, um, I really don't have too much in the pipeline, um, that's going to take up most of my time, I think, and, uh, really, really looking forward to it, so, yeah, so, that's it from KiwiGav, until next time, and, uh, Keep modeling out there and um, until next time, we'll catch you later. Bye.